Good morning, teacher. Good morning, teacher, to you. And uh, once again, a very happy new year. Oh, yeah. Happy new year to you, too, teacher. Thank How was you. everything? Everything is very, very well. And I'm very, very excited for this coming 2023. And yeah. I hope it will be a awesome year for all of us. Yes, teacher. Thank and you so much. On this topic, teacher, I, I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about New Year's resolutions. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That would be nice. And often during this time of the, the start of the year in January, many, many people make one or more resolutions. So, oh, of yeah. course, resolutions are maybe small little goals or targets that they would like to achieve in this new year. Oh, perfect, teacher. Yeah, like um, let's say when people want to lose weight or they, they yeah. want to go on a diet or exercise more or they want to, to quit smoking or quit drinking alcohol or yeah. stop using illegal drugs, something like that, teacher? You, I think you've named many, many of the most popular selections. Oh, nice. Teacher. Are there any other common resolutions, teacher? Uh, sometimes people might want to get a better job. Oh, yeah. So January is often a month when many companies start interviewing again. So oh. many people are motivated to find a better job. Uh, sometimes people have a resolution to earn more money. Oh, yeah, that's true. And uh, have a bit, maybe a larger income. Yeah, okay. Sure. And sometimes people want to learn a new skill or a new hobby. Yeah, I agree. So self-improvement is, self uh, yeah. is also very, very big. Oh, nice teacher. Very nice. But uh, speaking of that, I, I'd also, if you don't mind, I'd also like to ask you if you've made any resolutions for this new year oh, oh yes i do i do have a new resolution for this year uh, first of all i want to publish my book finally i really want to my my english exercises book i want to finish it and i want to publish it yeah another resolution that i want to do this year is um to finish my doctorate my phd in neurosciences in teaching english as a second language Wow, those are very, very impressive goals. Yeah, teacher. I have to do it. And so those I... are my main resolutions for this year. Wow, so those are not those are not just your average uh, resolutions. I think those are those are uh, a, a little bit larger. <laughs> oh yeah, in nature and importance. Yeah. So I'll, I'll have how one long? More. I'll have one. Yeah. I'm how? Sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. You... You can you can ask. Yes, I just wanted to ask you. Speaking, you mentioned completing your uh, PhD. How long do you think it will take you to do this? Sure, I have one more semester to finish one project, one more project, and then I go for the thesis. Excellent. So yeah. I think at the end of this year you'll be very very excited. Yes, be sure. <laughs> I'll do that. You'll have your doctorate, which is a. Uh, a great, great achievement. Yes, teacher. Yeah, and of so, course, I want to, uh, you know, exercise. Keep doing my exercises. You know, to take care of my heart, eat healthy, they, and also they say know, health as well. Yeah, and you know, and this year, um, there is a kind of recession, and that you know, I have to save money. Um, I don't want to spend money on, you know, outside, um, you know, save some money and invest, of course. And this is something that I tell the students and everybody that they have to invest, acknowledge. That's important when we are in the middle of recession. That, that's a very, very good point, teacher. So usually when we hear the word invest, oftentimes we first think about money. Yeah. But I think you made a very good point here in that we're not only not only should we invest financially, but we should also invest when it comes to our education and our, our knowledge. 
sure, teacher. So, yeah. so that was a very, very good point. Yeah. Thank you for asking, teacher. That was, that's very nice. Yes, and uh, this it would be great to hear also what some of the students, uh, what some of their resolutions may be. Yeah, teacher. Thank you so much for asking. And uh, um, what about your resolutions for this year? My resolution this year is to learn a new hobby or a, a new skill. Oh, nice. So I, I think I haven't been so active in the past. So this year, I kind of want to, as you mentioned, when we talk about self-improvement teacher. So I'd like to read a little bit more and try something new. Nice, teacher. Very nice. Well, teacher, it's been a very nice conversation, teacher. Thank you, as always, for your time. Teacher, and uh, until we speak again. Yes, bye bye sure. for now. Have a nice day, teacher. You too, teacher. All the best to you.